ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם שהכל נהיה בדברו. There is no doubt that according to many, one of the dangerous issues in this world today is the one that speaks about fundamentalism. Groups of people that think that they have the entire truth. There is no other truth in this world. They are right and nobody else is right. And there is no need for innovation. There is no need for further investigation. Because what is necessary has already been said. So therefore, forget about your computer. Shut off your internet. You don't need an iPad. All you need is, are certain books that reveal the word of God and that is sufficient in order to live in this world. Today we identify fundamentalism basically with certain groups in Islam. Was that always so? I don't think so. In the Christian world, maybe Luther represented a certain type of fundamentalism. In the Jewish world, we had the Karaites, a sect that believed in the literal meaning of the Bible. If the Bible says you are not permitted to kindle fire on the Sabbath, They interpreted that to mean that you have to live in darkness during the Sabbath. However, the central current of Judaism said something altogether different. You are not permitted to kindle fire on the Sabbath, but you should have light on the Sabbath. How do you have light if you can't kindle it? Well, you prepare it from beforehand. You light a fire before the Sabbath, so that you can enjoy it during the Sabbath. Maybe that they wanted to underline the importance of preparing for the Sabbath. Not to arrive on the Sabbath and say, what do I need? But you have to think about it during the week. Make preparations so that you should have the proper arrangements for your home on the Sabbath. Fundamentalism is, of course, a very difficult issue. Because if you think that you are right and everybody else is wrong, that eventually leads to coercion, to force you to a certain way of life. Is Judaism so? I don't think that central Judaism that we practice today is so. For instance, we don't look for converts. If we think we are right, we should really try to convert the entire world. But according to Judaism, there is only one God, the God of all humanity. But Judaism is the religion of the Jewish people, not of the Christians. There are different ways, there are different roads that lead to Rome. There are different ways that lead to the Almighty also. Everyone has to look for his own tradition and thereby arrive at what is the truth for everybody, the existence of one God. Why is the existence of one God so important? Because it means that we are all his children. Whether you're Christian, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Jewish. We all come from the same God. We serve the same God. So what necessity is there to fight among each other? To the contrary, we have the same Father. We should have the same goals. In Judaism, we can see, for instance, that there are righteous people who are not Jews. There are many people who are moral, ethical. And as a believing Jew, I know there are many Christians whose life are just as ethical or moral as mine, and some maybe even more so. You know, during the Second World War, there were a number of non-Jews, many of them, that saved Jews from extermination. They placed their own lives at risk in order to save another human being, because they understood that what was being done was barbaric, was totally unjust. And in Yad Vashem, which is an institution that memorializes what happened during the Second World War. There is a garden for those people, non-Jews, who saved Jews during the Second World War. So, I ask you, do you believe in God? Of course you do. Are you Jewish? Fine. Are you Christian? Fine. But make sure that you allow others to think in a different way. We believe in one God, but each one with his own traditions with what our ancestors taught us and remembering that we, are all have, that we all have one Father, one God, and therefore we should love each other as brothers and sisters should always do.